where you find yourself right now is not where you want to be and it's not where you have to be but don't allow anyone to take advantage of you and condemn you because God himself he knew the state of the world yet he sent Jesus not to trash the world not to condemn the world but to come and save the world who is condemning you who is condemning you let them say what they want to say let them do what they want to do this is narrow gate where jesus himself he is the reason and his faithfulness is our confidence the book of john chapter 3 verse 17 the bible say god did not send jesus into the world to condemn the world but he sent jesus to come and save the world John chapter 3 verse 17 therefore do not allow anyone to condemn you don't allow them to get under your skin God hasn't condemned you the world that the Bible is talking about he talks about people God cares about people so much God cares about you and God cares about me no matter the state that you find yourself in you might not be even close to the word holy for God so loved the world that he sent his only son. He loved the world. He loved you. You are the world. I am the world. He loved you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. We all struggle in life. We all struggle even to, to obey the simplest instruction or the word of God. We all struggle about it. That is our fallen nature. By default, we resist the word of God. So we are all struggling. I'm struggling. So if you are also struggling, Go through the pages of the Bible. All men and women of God who walk with God, but most of them, they were not holy, including David, a man after God's own heart, including Abraham, they were all not holy. You are not holy, I'm not holy. So don't think that you are the most dirtiest husband, you are the most dirtiest wife, you are the most dirtiest child, you are the most dirtiest church member, you are the most dirtiest co-worker. You are not. You are just an ordinary person, just like you, just like me. So don't be discouraged. Don't allow others to talk you down. Don't allow others to condemn you. Because God himself, your big papa, he hasn't condemned you. So don't allow anybody to condemn you. You are the apple of God's eyes. In fact, they don't love you anyway. They hate you. So you don't expect them to say good things about you. You don't expect them to wish you well. But God who created you, he said, you are not condemned. That is the most important thing. Who is man that can condemn you? We all stand before the judgment throne one day, but in the eyes of God, He sees us. He sees us all as His own children. So don't allow yourself to be condemned. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how they come, know that God still loves you. Think about it and accept Him as your Lord and your personal Savior. Most of us too, we have accepted him already. All that we need is to obey his word or follow his footsteps. That's all we need to do. And, and this thing does not happen overnight. It's a process. So if you don't like where you are right now in terms of your spiritual work, it's never too late. One day at a time, we all struggle. We all struggle. I may be standing here talking to you so nice, you think that I'm the mo most holiest person? No, not even close to that. But we are all trying to help each other. When one fall, we pick ourselves up and we work together because everybody that you see is your brother and that is the intention of God, that you all be one as one family. What are you going through? What has been said to you that broke your heart that you think you are nobody? You are somebody in the eyes of God, the one who created you. People who condemn you, they don't know the value of you. They don't know who you are. So they just see you as just a mere human being. But in the eyes of God, you are so much important. You are individual with the different DNA and the different fingerprints, which does not match anybody in this world. See how special you are. I'm also special. God loves you. So cheer up. Cheer up. It doesn't matter what you have been going through, what you have been doing. He still loves you today and he'll still love you tomorrow. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to consider that someone loves you unconditionally. When it comes to, when it comes to this world, unconditioned love doesn't exist. 
the only unconditional love that you can the only the only unconditional love you and i can ever experience is from above nobody has that kind of love for you nobody has that kind of love for me people may say it because none of us have that capability to love you unconditionally he loves you he loves me think about it and from today consider him as your lord and your personal savior pray that he will give you grace pray that he will give you strength to face every temptation from today may his name be glorified forever and ever this is narrow gate where jesus himself he is the reason and his faithfulness is our confidence i love you with the love of god and see you again thank you for watching me subscribe to my facebook and youtube and let's do this together in the name of God. I hope one day we will see ourselves in the heaven places and we will rejoice together forever and ever. That is our ultimate goal. God bless you and see you again. Able, able, you gon' make a way for you